Now to news from the budget debate, Environment Minister the Honorable Ramal Ferreira is speaking out on that Pan American Health Organization report on the New Providence landfill. The report was requested by the previous administration following that massive fire at the facility back in March. It branded the site as an urgent public health hazard. Preliminary report was received at the Ministry of Environment on the 28th of April, 2017. Our records at the ministry show that the previous government was aware of the report but failed to advise the people concerned about the environmental and health impacts that loom. We could call this, this, this method of dealing with these kind of events the Rubis Protocol. The Environment Minister also outlined measures in the short, medium and long term to address challenges at the landfill. The Department of Environmental Health Services, DHS, has stepped in to bring some order to the compound. And at this point, I want to thank the members of the Department of Environmental Health Services for their courageous efforts. They continue to work on behalf of the Bahamian people. In the interim, <laughs> The previous government commenced an RFP to find a new manager for the landfill. This process was greatly flawed as it was rushed to beat the date of a general election. I am happy to report that the Ministry of Environment and Housing is preparing to issue a new request for proposal for the management of the New Providence landfill that will take into account policies and regulations for non-recyclable non-decomposable and hazardous waste with considerations for the deconstruction and proper engineering of the landfill. 